morning guys, welcome back. We've been off for a few days just trying to catch up on a bit of work and do a few things. Uh, right now we have gotten to the blowhole. So we've been staying at Cobber for a while and um, the, uh, the aquarium doing a fair bit of snorkeling and stuff which has been wicked. But I've noticed the swell was running a bit today so we've decided to come down uh, and have a look at the blowhole. But um, I, uh, yeah, sorry, I can't look at the camera because of these rocks. If you come to the Quabba Blowholes, wear some good shoes, not thongs. Uh, but anyway, let's, um, I'm hoping any second now, when we get a bit of a swell, you might see something pop up right here behind me. Right, so that's the uh, Cobb blowholes, which was quite nice to see them actually finally spurting. Not huge, but um, swell's not that big, but uh, that has other benefits because it's been really cool in the aquarium. But uh, anyway, it's time to head back, do some work. Kids have got to do their school, and um, I don't know where I'm up to with this video, so I can't work it all out. Anyway, guys, see you back there. Right, guys, so it's uh, Monday afternoon. Kids have done schooling, done some work after the blowholes this morning. We're going to go and try and have a fish now um, and see how we go. Chriso caught a beautiful spangled emperor yesterday. That was wicked, so hopefully, we can get that again because he was delicious last night. But anyway, um, just waiting for the family to get their act together, get going, and we'll. Um, go out and find a spot to fish a little bit worried there's a bigger swell so I hope may not get down onto the shelf or the platform where we got to fish last night which is a bit of a bugger but we'll go and check it out and see what we can do if not come back to camp and chill out so uh, we'll bring you with us for a drive all right so the debate's on sorry about the wind noise that's where we were fishing yesterday and there was no water down there so with the swell today obviously uh, the water's washed up we're just standing here watching to see if any waves come up onto this or whether this is just draining from the high tide that's just been but um right there's where he caught his spangled emperor didn't you buddy yeah bro <laughs> um oh how's that sun yeah i reckon we'll just watch and sit, wait for a set and swell to come through to check that's dry but how pretty does that look man i think but, high tide was at about 2 or 2 30 so, so it's 20 past now, so it's had an hour of sitting roughly. Yeah, 230 high tide. Yeah. Here comes a bit of a swell now. Yeah. But um This spot is just magic, hey. But the fish down here were just huge, got busted off that many times. Again, not really the right gear. Good old Kmart telescopic rod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've got one of those good ones, haven't you? Yeah, I've got a Solgay Lang. Solgay Lang. Yeah, it's from 
Aussie, it's an Aussie made. <laughs> Aussie made rod, telescopic rod from Amazon. Anyway, uh, we'll have a look. Morning guys, moving day today and we're heading off to Garnu Station from here at Quabba Blowholes, but look what we've woken up to. Whew. Look at that. What a sunrise. Anyway, we're keen to get going, um, get on the road early, we want to stop in at Quabba Station, have a look, have a look at Red Bluff as well, and then uh, punch through and be there by just after 12 o'clock, so um, time to go and make a coffee get packed up and get going. Right guys, we've had an amazing couple of days here at Quabba Point. Quabba Point Blow, Quabba Blow Blow Holes. Campground. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as you can see you're at the sand dunes just over Donna's head there, the beach is right there, there's an access track to where we're camped. And it's a beautiful beach to sit on and just watch the waves, not real safe for swimming I don't think because um, of the big, what do you call it? Well they dump on the beach, the so dump. the way the beach is quite sloped and then it goes straight into the water and it's quite deep so the waves deep. come in quite big, stand up and then just go boosh up the and beach. And saw sharks swimming along very close in there so I wouldn't let my little ones in there, too dangerous. Yes, so, uh, but we did see turtles as well. Yeah, turtles too. And he chased a turtle up the beach, which was she... great. But it is the most prettiest beach. I know I say this every time we go somewhere. Oh, this is my new favourite place. But this <laughs> is my new favourite place. <laughs> yes, yes. Honestly, I reckon this is probably the best snorkelling we've had so far. Oh, yes. And I do that too with every snorkelling spot. I say, oh, this is my new favourite snorkelling spot. But this is my new favourite snorkelling spot. It's called um, the Aquarium. Yeah. Here at Point Quabba Blowholes Campground, there's a day use area there. They've got toilets, a few shelters to keep you um, out of the sun. But oh, the snorkeling is next yeah. level. Yeah. So um, if I haven't put up some clips on the um, snorkeling yet, I'll put them up in a minute. Um, but yeah, honestly, these locations are on Campedia. The link is below. We checked out the blowholes yesterday. Got a bit of footage of the uh, blowholes blowing. Yes, yeah. yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, and went tried to go for another fish this after, yesterday afternoon, just didn't work. It was too windy, the swell was way too big, too dangerous mm -hmm. to get down to the shelf where we fished the night before. Um, Great fishing. But this campground too, it's um, they, they advise for you to come and have a look through first to see if you can find a spot, because sometimes you can't, it is very full. It's very um, tight for us to turn around down at the end with our size. We got around, but yeah. if someone was camped, in one of the little tracks right down at the end, it would have been next to impossible for us to turn around. Yeah. So We would have had to reverse all the way out, don't you think? Oh, or, yeah, or send it somewhere. But it is self-contained vehicles here because there is the toilets here are only for the day use area and they are right at the beginning of the campground. So if you're parked all the way down here where we are, you, there's no toilet for you. No. No, but the, um, oh, it's a, look at the size of our site. We've got a wicked big site. It's awesome. It's so huge. just a couple of things like the speed limit through here is 15 kilometers an hour um, I'm not going to put the camera on him but please just be not go that fast that There's that guy is doing little kids, There's you know, kids everywhere running out everywhere it's, it's really drives silly. us insane but yeah what, what else is here at the camp you got your own little fire pits yep you can have fires um, obviously pending the the local or the current fire restrictions um, and yes, you've got to come out, see if you can get a spot first, and then you can pay and book online. Um, they do have a little pay station, uh, pay station uh, with an envelope as soon as you're driving, right directly across from the dump point. Yep. Because um, there is a dump point here too, and there are big skip bins for rubbish. So. And guess what? It's all on the app. Yeah, I know, but yeah. I was just telling you anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, um, look, uh, we'll keep you posted. We're going to hit the road. We're heading up to Nalu. Uh, yeah, well, we're going to stop in first at Quabba Station, then Red, Red Bluff, Bluff. Um, add those to the app for you, but we're going to stay at Nalu. Yeah, I think we've got three nights in Nalu. Yeah, because I've yeah. heard there's good snorkeling there as well, so yes. and we love our snorkeling. We do. We're we absolutely do. loving the kids. are in. I'm absolutely stoked because the kids have never really done it before. Right. And they're it's, like little professionals. Yeah, they're diving down. Especially and... Addie, who's been a little bit more yeah, cautious. Yeah. 
She's actually got diving down. Look, she loves her carry shells, so she's looking for them. And the sea urchin shells they're finding. Oh, the, uh, em the empty sea yeah. urchin shells. She loves those as well. But so. the fish in this aquarium, they're huge. It's like big cod. There's blue bone. There's, what are those? Are they called tusk fish? Those yeah, really like colourful Venus ones? Yeah, like Venus tusk fish or something Star like that Starfish, well. we've seen octopus, stingrays. You saw a little eel. A little eel. Oh, it's, it's it blew me away. I was just like a kid in a candy store. I didn't want to get out of it. Anyway. Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah, see ya. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go and uh, head up. Alright guys, just thought we'd show you as we're leaving, obviously bins are here, dump points just behind the truck, but directly across the road where Donner is here, is where the pay station is. Um, so you have the choice of paying here with cash, or you can pay online, and they've got the QR code on the side. It's a bit wobbly. Oh, wobbly, wobbly. There we go, so QR code QR there. code, or you can ring the um, Carnarvon Visitor Information Centre. Um, and drop in there and pay if you're in Carnarvon. But as I said, I, and I'll put it in the app, they do say to come out here first and look for a spot and then pay. So Because it might be full. It might be full. And you're paid and get here and there's nothing available for you. Yeah, so cash or online. All right, let's go. Let's go. Alright, so we just stopped here at Red Bluff Campground to have our quick smoothie, which was bloody beautiful. And I'm not a big fruit person, so for me to have a mango smoothie and say it was nice, you know they're nice. But uh, we've just taken up this driveway at the moment because parking is limited. Just down here you've got the Red Bluff um, Cafe where you get your smoothies from and camping. It's all turning in here's a bit tight. The surfers, if I get past this van, right out here on the point, out there, and Believe it or not, just out here, some manta rays having a swimmers round, so I'll throw the drone up and show you those in a second. But um, there's a Red Bluff store just there. Um, looks like they've got glamping tents up here as well. Um, all links to this will be below on our app as usual. Um, but I reckon once we finish at Nalu, I reckon we're going to come back here as long as the weather's good and camp up. Just might mean a few shorter showers up at um, Nalu Campground. Anyway guys, Donna's way up the road there, taking photos of the campground as usual. Then I've got to go and pick her up, I think. One thing though, the flies are insane. The kids have just been shooing them out of the van, they must have been uh, out of the car, sorry. 30, 40 of them in there. Anyway, everyone's waiting for me. We'll uh, get going up to Nalu. Hey guys, that's it for this episode this week. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and we'd love your support. Thank you very much for downloading the app and uh, following with us. Um, next week, Three Mile, uh, Nalu Bay. Um, come check it out, a bit more snorkeling. So uh, see you next week, guys.